Righty ho, here's even more of the best games from the Ludum Diary 47 game jam. All games are on the theme of Stuck in a Loop. Uh, check the playlist for more in the series, this is episode number 9, and remember to subscribe to Randomize User for the best indie games around. First game, End of the Skyline. Uh, an Into the Breach style, tactical, positional, um, turn-based strategy game, where you are the four lads at the top and you need to escape each level by getting to the blue bit at the bottom. These vampire lads are going to kill you, but you need to shove them off the edge of the world if you're going to succeed. So let's do that. First of all, let's move you to there and use your shoving ability. Bump. Now let's move you to there and use your hook ability. Haha! And then we need to just move our other lads a bit further forwards. He's got a mortar. Unfortunately, it has to be on the um, vertical and horizontal. So there's not really much we can do there. That's not a lethal shot. That's only about pushing people away. Uh, so you can just go to there, I think. And turn. And they'll keep on rematerializing as we go. This shouldn't be too bad. This might not work. All right, move to there. And use your pulling power over here. You just want to use your ability. And then, because you've now moved a bit further this way, uh, you now can get over here and shove you. Uh, and now, the only big problem is, is this lad up here is going to have trouble, because he can only move two spaces. He's going to have trouble getting to the exit. What'll do? He's a bit tastier, so let's do that. You do that. Oh! <laughs> Did not mean to do that, but that's fine. And that's actually done no harm at all. Let's get you lads out of here. Bye. Ah, oh, there's any... Okay, that's good. That's really good. We can we can really just sort this out now. And... Yep, I think that's all good. You can go. You're getting a bit closer, but it's okay because we can finish our turn here without taking damage. Perfect. Level two. So here, let's finally use this lad. Use your ability to... <laughs> over the head toss. Yes. Uh, we can do with... Well, let's move to you to... There. Give you a tug. Now we just have to deal with this lad, which I'm going to use a mortar for. I'm going to move you a bit closer. Get you. And we still haven't used our pushy lad, which is rare. Let's get you as far as we can with you. Shove! And so, yeah, we haven't actually taken any damage yet. I mean, this is, uh, our mortar's the weakest with only three hit points. You've got four. Sod them all. Let's get rid of you. That's unnecessary. And then you... Enter. Success. And so it goes. This is really clever. Once you actually um, understand um, how, to, how to use a strategy or whatever, it's, um, it's very into the breach and therefore great. This is Inside the Planet. It's a platform puzzler game where you've only got one control. Jump. You can press space or mouse click. And what we're going to do is get the golden orbs and bug it in the hole on every level. And there are enemies and spikes later on, but for now we just have to work out how the game works. It's all about jumping at certain times to actually change your orbit, like that. So now we've actually snagged a different orbit, and now we just need to get out of here. There we go. Perfect. It takes a little bit of time to get used to exactly when you actually um, do land on things, and when you don't. When you just bang your head. Hello. <laughs> and I think we've sorted here. Boop! Ow! Oh, spikies! Hard to see that. Ooh! Good. <laughs> there we go. This is, this is a bit, bit more like it. This time, let's be a bit more cautious. There, that's more like it. And... now what? That's... That's, that's not more like it. I'm bugging that up. Hang on. Let's try that again. Ha! Perfect. And to the exit. Oh dear. Oh dear. Moving spikies. You old bastards. Ha! Nope. Not there, actually. Oh! What was that, me? Daft sod. Or that. What was that in all? I think we might have to go around from this instead. Oh, no, that's no good. I'm trying to, trying to get to the gold platform first, and from there on, hopefully. Here we go. How do we get to the golden thing now? Ooh. Oh, that's more like it. That's all you have to do. Oh, bloody hell. That's quite straightforward, really. Now all we need to do now is get them back onto the thing. There we go. Sweet as. This is Pillars of Anguish. Ow. I'm dead. 
So I'd describe this as um, Prince of Persia meets Rick Dangerous, but then I'm very old. You probably wouldn't do the same. Well, anyway, you probably noticed that your body is down there, but you're still up here. Now, okay, so we just, essentially it's one of those, you have to use your past lives to help you out. So first of all, in fact, let's just, let's just toss ourselves off over there repeatedly for a while. Oh, here we go. I finally got the ability to not die. So let's go over here. I've been stacking my buddies over to the right hand side. You can go down or you can go up. I've chosen to go up. I reckon it might be useful. Oh dear. I've died on some spikies. Ooh. Here we go. That's more like it. And we'll have to do this again. But now we've made ourselves a little platform. So this time it should go a little smoother. Yep, there we go. And now let's continue. That can be jumped over. That can probably be... Oh! There we go. Perfect. Up here. Around there. Wait for that to disappear because... Oh, hang on. No, I think we have to go over this. Down there. Up here. And... Yes! I'm not listening, mate. <laughs> I'm not pressing escape. I know your game. You're still going to be worrying about fall damage. Oh! Tits. Oh, I could have just jumped that. Oh, bloody hell. Hang on, where we... Oh! Oh! There. Aha! The exit. Jeez, finally. Did it have to take so long? So now we've got a new um, thing to worry about. Let's take one for the team. There we go. I think going up and over might be a good thing here. Aha! Staircase for the lads. This is basically like lemmings, only even crueler. <laughs> ha! Do, 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 do. Ha! Oh, no! Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's blocking us. Right. Let's do the up and over again. Careful of the flame. Where do we need to go now? I think we need to do a bit of a jumpy poos. Careful. Now we need, I want to kind of go over there, but can I... Maybe a, maybe a little st another stack. Here we go. Here we go. Here we bloody go. Yes! And then... No! You... F Ow. This is Seasoned Wizards, where you're a wizard um, who changes into a different wizard every eight seconds. And each wizard has, has a different power. So my yellow lad has a laser beam. Uh, let's go and actually try and do some stuff. We need to get some balls into goals and things like that. Oh, here's a red lad. Um, you can do wind. Oh! And I can blow the ball around like a maniac. Urgh. And all we have to do is um, complete three kind of crystal tasks. Hello, are you? Oh, you're, you can turn water into ice. Uh, so there's plenty of different ways you can do each thing. Oh, we've got a sticky thing. Urgh. 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 Not quite sure we can really do much with you at the moment. Or you. Let's kill you instead. Get rid of you. Right. Let's blow! Blow! Here we go. Yeah, you're definitely a bit more talented than the other lads. Why are there two balls then? Never noticed this previously. I'm going to, I'm going to see if there's a, a secret if you do this. Come on, we don't need... We don't necessarily need a blowing talent. We can, we can kick it, but... Oh. It's a lot easier doing this. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Anyway, we've completed the, the first of our green diamond thingamabobs. Now we have a little puzzly poos. Now, we can shove these things around. What can we do? What can we use? This one I haven't really worked out exactly how to actually <laughs> operate yet. Now, this is this laser thing can um, can activate things, but we haven't. We, I think we need to do some blowing first. So let's blow you there. So where does that go? There, 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 and... Oh! There. Right, that should be it, I think. Do, do... No, that's no good. That can't be right. Oh, there we go. Yep. Sorted. I thought I'd m mucked that up somewhat. Oh, ow! Well, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm getting there anyway. Right. I think I can shoot him using my awesome ice power. And now we just have. What do we have to do here? We, I think we. I think we just have to ice. Uh, or de oh yeah, ice our way across. I think I can use those green things somehow, but I don't think. I think we've basically got a choice of how to do this. I think we can. I think I'm going to use this lad instead. There we go. Success! You have restored the seasons. Just like a really small, small little game, this, but I really like it um, and really want more. 
This is Evaze, a curious hybrid of puzzle game and action game. Uh, you're the thing on the bottom left, and you have to collect the gold things whilst avoiding the enemies. And you do that by partially moving, um, W, A, S, and D, but I can't move just yet, and also by treating it as like a sliding puzzle. So we can shove things over there, and somehow we can get to that gold thing. But we've got to be careful not to release the bads as we go. Aha! There we go. Nice. Another one as well just re rematerialized, which is handy. Let's push you up there. Grab you. Get you. Now, here's a, here's a bit of a problem. Until we do that. Nice. If we go over... Ooh. Right. Hang on. Go down there. Let's use the force. Perfect. And again. Go down to there. Uh, now, you can't shove them off the edge of the world in this. It won't let you. Um, like, for instance, here. We can no longer do anything on that particular aspect. But let's go over here. Get you. Um, two for one. Uh oh Careful. Let's get out of here. Whew. Where am I? There I am. <laughs> oh, I need, to, I need to get into that big area. Ooh! Stay away from me. Stay away. Ooh, bloody hell. See, suddenly it's getting a bit more um, towards the action side of things. Ooh! So as ever with these games, it's the idea that you can just um, take an existing thing and tweak it a bit, come up with a new idea that makes you think something makes you think completely different about the same some, about oh piss <laughs> about something that you've seen before. Um, very inventive. This is the Lighthouse, a minimalist narrative game about a writer who moves to a lighthouse and with a grouchy old man, I and mean, it slowly escalates into something very unsettling. <laughs> Shout out to 10MG Collection. Um, the story's about 10 minutes long. Uh, I won't spoil it for people who want the full experience, because it is worth doing yourself. Uh, but the game does fit the theme, I reckon. Uh, we'll just do the first few minutes as a bit of a teaser. So this is the cr um, crotchety old man, and I have to take the baggage over there. So what you, what can, what you kind of end up doing is um, living in a lighthouse where every day seems to be the same, but things start to like, go wrong as you go. Well, there's the... Um, there's the fog on going off. Anyway, let's get this baggage to the lighthouse. Hey, come on! There we go. Took ye long enough. And not take out the chamber pot whilst you're at it. Then we'll talk. So it guides you everywhere you're going in this. Um, there's, a few, there's a couple of choices you can make. Oh, oh, hello. Two barrel shotgun. It's loaded. Better watch my back here. What takes you so long? If you touch me gun, I'll shove it up your arsehole. Right. Yes, we're taking out some poo. Smells foul. Looks like it's been here a while. Right, let's take this enormous chamber pot full of poo down the ladder. <laughs> that could get awkward. One step closer to me with that thing and you're dead! Oops. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, check out my Buy Me A Coffee if you enjoyed it, and want to say thanks and help the channel do better. And check out the Ludum Dari 47 playlist for more in this series. And as usual, do subscribe to Randomized User for larks and that. I'll see you next time.